Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now on this channel we like to take a look at the low cost side of PC gaming as well as older hardware and more recently software too. We've tested the performance of processors, graphics cards, whole desktops as well as laptops. We tend to stick to the lower spec stuff as many of us, including myself, can't afford the latest and greatest things. So today we're going to be taking a look into the tablet market. Love them or hate them, there's no denying their accessibility and ease of use, not to mention portability. Now as a PC gamer, thinking about the possibility of gaming on the go brings about thoughts of expensive gaming laptops or tablets that can cost close or even way over $1,000. Now I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like a feasible option. So let me introduce you to this, the $60 quad-core Windows 10 tablet. Okay, I know it's not going to be able to outperform or even keep up with more expensive options, but at $60 or £50 here in the UK, it's an absolute steal. But let's get serious, can this tablet even play older titles, or are we asking too much of something that was designed for basic usage and web browsing? So this is the Connect 8 tablet. It features 32GB of storage, 1GB of RAM and an Intel Atom Z3735G processor. It's a quad core and it also features Intel HD graphics as well. It also has a screen resolution of 1280 by 800 which is plenty sharp enough for the size and it means that games should perform a little better given the lower resolution. So whilst this isn't strictly marketed as a gaming tablet, going from a lot of reviews people are having a pretty solid experience playing old or less demanding games and that's good enough for me. So can this $60 tablet provide a suitable gaming experience whilst on the go? Well let's find out. Now, to mention a few things, we wanted to capture the screen externally, as any screen capture software running on the device did slow things down quite a bit, but we were able to get fraps to display the frame rate, so we're going to be recording using a camera. We're also using a PS4 controller wirelessly with the device, as you can see, so without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start off with Portal. An excellent game that's not only fun, but doesn't require much in the way of minimum specs either. So we've got things at 1024 by 768 here, with a mix of medium and low settings, and we're running anywhere from the high 20s to the high 40s, probably averaging somewhere around 30 overall. There isn't any input lag from the controller either, which is good. And it makes Portal, the first game we've tested on this thing, a success. Minecraft next, and whilst we do have everything on the lowest settings, the game isn't all that playable. Bear in mind that you can get a tablet-specific version which will run just fine, but that would be cheating. Of course, in the real world, you would want to go with that tablet version of the game, because running the full PC game here, even with the graphics on low or fast, doesn't yield very good results. But never mind, because let's move on to an absolute classic, GTA San Andreas. Again, I believe you can get a Windows Store specific version, but to be honest, with this tablet, the full PC game runs just as good. And if you've already purchased it on Steam, then you can just download it again here instead of buying GTA again. With San Andreas a success, that pretty much means that you're good to go in terms of Vice City and GTA 3 as well, if you're looking to replay those on this. But stay away from 4 or 5 as expected. Now, I didn't really experience any problems with San Andreas at all, even when driving around the busier areas, maybe because it's an older title, but regardless, like Portal, it ran very well. So let's kick things up a notch with Far Cry 2. In theory, the most demanding game we're going to be testing today. We've got things on low, as you can see here, and this is probably the best option. We've also got 800 by 600 resolution enabled, so here we go. Yes, in the middle of the jungle here, and we're averaging around 20 frames per second, which in my opinion is very impressive, considering the hardware we're working with. To be honest, I think that if this tablet had one gigabyte more of RAM, we'd be seeing around 30 frames per second. And in fact, the game will touch on that in emptier and wide open spaces. But overall, it's not a great experience. However, it does run. So to be honest, this isn't designed for gaming at all. Like I said, I read a couple of reviews online and people mentioned Portal, which it is more than capable of, as you saw. For older games, though, you'll have a great time. 
This is essentially just a low spec PC with Intel HD graphics and if you're into the old GTA games like me or even something like Half-Life and other Valve titles then you can expect a half decent experience. It's great to think that if you're on a long journey on the train or in the passenger seat of a car you can pull this out your bag, Bluetooth your PS4 controller to it and whilst you may get some funny looks, who cares? Because you're enjoying those older games on the go. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this tablet with me. I really wasn't expecting much from this thing and I was actually quite impressed with the result. Of course this thing isn't designed for gaming and to see how it performed really was quite impressive. Um, all I can say is if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below. Hit dislike if you didn't enjoy it all that much. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.